All right, you can hear us. That is fantastic. Yeah, it it like is the 26th. We, 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 we weren't quite sure. I was confident that when we switched scenes, the audio would come on, but Because you guys didn't hear that, but we actually tried to turn on the microphone while the countdown was we were running, talking, and you? that didn't work. Yeah, but I, I knew. I just know how these things work, man. All these spoilers. Fine. It's fine. Yeah, we we talked about like the Bullet King raid and like uh, you know like all of these <laughs> yeah, things that are like things. casual chatting. Yeah, the buff totally to the Valkyria. Yeah, Va Valkyria buffs. <laughs> yeah, all these things. Um, no, ah, but seriously, we, we do have a lot to talk today because a lot has happened in week one of the PTS. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's calling it week one kind of confirms that there's probably more coming. Anyway, we'll get to that. We have, a, we have a lot to talk about today. But week one, a lot has happened, and we'll get to all of the admittedly broken stuff uh, throughout this because there is some things that are wildly broken. It's not the Valkyria. That's totally fine. Oh, that's fine. It's a buff everything. <laughs> you were joking about buff everything up to the Valkyria and nothing lives ever. Yeah. Basically. That's just that like, seems, yeah. Ah, this is fine. Dead. Yeah, this is fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but yes, there, ha there have been things that are broken. Um, but the, the one thing, and I actually posted a, about this on, online yesterday, it's very easy to think when something like this happens, when mm -hmm. things are so wildly broken, which they are. Uh, well, things, very specific things. But don't forget, there are lots of other things yeah. in the build that is very, very. Uh, they're very, very helpful for us to test. There yeah. are things in there that we've never tested before, Legendary Mode, uh, the new Incursion, yeah. all these sorts it's of things. North, uh, things north. that people won't, uh, you know, lots of nav mesh, like level type things yeah. That, yeah. that people don't notice. Yeah. But the but PTS also, is super valuable for yeah, us in that regard. Server stability and yeah. uh, hashing out the deltas yeah. and mics of the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, trying to get all of that sorted. Yeah, you I mean you say the delta and mic thing, and we kind of. Um, you know, joke about them, even though they make us like mad Cringe. to our core. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Everybody but, mad, I think. But yeah, yeah exactly. We, we get as a, you know, I mean, you've, you've, if you've been watching the stream, you know I've been delted as much as any other guy, right? It's a, it's a thing. But yeah. whenever that happens, and you know, glass half full, uh, whenever that happens, that will get report, that thing that happened is captured. is captured by us, and we can make sure that we get enough data to collect and make yeah. adjustments. Yeah, as and programmers and server yes. people to look at. Well, apparently you're the best programmer we have, so. Reddit said so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I have been programmed since this is how the 90s, program, right? but sure. Let's go with <laughs> that. This is me exactly. programming. We need an Alex era. An Alex <laughs> era would be a, a good addition. That, yeah. I think the just era so we, of Mike is over. We just so we can Alex. kill it. <laughs> yes. But, but yeah, the, the first week of PTS has been very helpful for us. I know it can be frustrating for players to be playing yeah. with yeah. unbalanced or newly introduced or mm -hmm. broken gear, but it, for us, it's still valuable. Yeah. We're going to... Very, very yeah. valuable. The other thing to, uh, to note, sorry, uh, is that people are like, oh, why didn't the ETF catch this? They did. Don't worry yes. about it. Yes, they, <laughs> yeah. they, they, did. They, they All the feedback we got from them was super valuable. The build that people are playing on the PTS right now doesn't include uh, those... Most of their feedback. No. It, was fairly, it was fairly close in time, so we didn't yeah. have time to implement a lot of, yeah. of what they suggested. Uh, a lot of that is, yeah. is coming up. But yeah. guys, I'm aware that we sound like we're making a lot of excuses. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about the things. Let, let's, talk, let's definitely talk about the things. Um, you had something to say before I rudely interrupted you. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the ETF and stuff. So you just no, like, no, completely you, you, took it away from me. But that's it's, fine. I just, I'm just like, sitting in the middle and I'm like... Bleh. It's like uh, we're finishing each uh, other's sentences. I'm trying to say something. You know? like we're, we're just that's linked. Fine. It's that's like fine. You don't need me anymore because you've been doing so many state of the games without me now. Well, yeah. the thing is, we have more viewers when you're, you're not here. <laughs> that's true. Uh, <laughs> that's and, true. And, and right now, I bet we don't have what we had last week. To be fair, we pimped out last week pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're going to hype it anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to say that, as you said, but uh, yeah, this, is, this build was very similar to what the ETF actually played. And uh, yeah, as Frederick said, we didn't have uh, much time to change anything. So mm. yeah, the good thing is that. DTF did warn, uh, did warn us and didn't find out all these things with the Valkyria and all of that. It's just, uh, yeah, we have the changes that are ready already for the next build of the PTS. Yeah. So, that's all so the I mean, the biggest, the biggest things that were meta-definingly broken in the, in the first week would, would be the, the Valkyria. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hungry Hog was broken. It had a, <laughs> yeah, it had a times <laughs> two rather than a times point two multiplier on it. So, yeah. you know. And some other things. Uh, Maths. Why don't we go through those one by one? Because I, I, I wrote down the big three broken things. Mm. Yeah. Valkyria, yeah. the Hungry Hog, and the other thing I wrote it down. A Seeker, obviously. The yeah. Seeker gear yeah. set, yeah. Um, so let's, let's start with Valkyria. What, uh, for people who don't know, I guess we should, we should start at the start, if people haven't been on the PTS, because we have a lot of console players who may not be following mm. streams mm. Yeah. Uh, and all so, that. What's yeah, so the Valkyria is a set of two submachine guns. Mm -hmm. uh, one that was 
previously the Valkyria, mm -hmm. and a new one which is, is uh, uh, of the same type. Mm -hmm. And if you switch back and forth between them, is the intent, mm -hmm. you build up a buff on one that can be used by the other. Yeah. But that's not what was happening. Some glitch made it so that the first one could use the buff it was building and yeah. keep building it forever. So yes. it, it cost a decent amount of damage. <laughs> a decent uh, amount. And it, it pretty much defined the Dark Zone meta for the week. People were erasing each other with it. Yeah, it basically wasn't even a meta, no. right? It was like uh, basically giving people the ability to yeah. cheat, but legitimately. So uh, what of the Valkyria will people see in the next iteration of the PTS? Well, first of all, they're going to be named Hildur and Ayr. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was correctly a named. Correctly Hildur named. Yes. Uh, one of them is gold and one is silver. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Hildur builds up a buff mm -hmm. for critical strike damage that the Ayr can use. Okay. And while you're using it with the Ayr, it will be dropping. So the, the intent is the same, it's just that now you yeah. have to use it. It will work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it will work, work only It'll like work that. Uh, in before, it might not. And in PTS week two, there's probably something else. No. I have confidence that this will work. Because I think also the value was from down from 100% to 30%. 30% of now. And that's okay. subject to change. We'll see. Of course. Yeah. As is everything on the PTS. Yes. Don't forget. And I think this is one of the things that we run away with all the yeah. time. People uh, and, and myself, we're like, 1.6 has these things wrong with it. No, no, no. 1.6 PTS has these things yeah. wrong with it, which is great. Like, we, we want things, well, we don't want things to be wrong with the PTS, but it's good when they are, because yeah. then we can identify them and fix them before they actually And we also had a, 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 live game. a decent amount of plans that, from the ETF feedback and workshops yeah, yeah. that were simply not implemented mm -hmm. yet. There will be big changes that will be coming. Yeah, I mm -hmm. see a lot of people in chat that are asking, why didn't we hotfix the Valkyria, actually, if we know that it's broken, and why are we waiting until we have the mm -hmm. next PTS coming to actually hotfix mm -hmm. it? And uh, I think it's just... It's just a question of like, we have a lot of things that are coming mm -hmm. with the next PTS, so we just want to make sure to package as many of these changes as possible yeah. together, because if we just like hot fix that, but mm -hmm. don't fix the rest, like, I mean, if we want to fix the Valkyria, but we don't fix the Hungry Org, and we don't fix the Seeker, and then yeah. we don't fix this and that and that, you know, it's yeah. just... Mm -hmm. It also takes a certain amount of, of testing and time yeah. to get a build out there and yeah. be able Otherwise to Yeah, Adrian's going to be up being like, guys, stop! Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. it! Yeah. Stop yeah. doing like daily builds. Yeah. No, but the, uh, so the, the next thing was the Hungry Hog. Yes. had a math error. It, okay, so and it was 2%. It's t it was 200% it's instead of 20%. Oh, yeah, the, 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 yeah. So what it's going to be, though, is it's going to be a 10% per stack, and it's going to stack a max of five times is what we're yeah. going to try out mm -hmm. for the next uh, phase of the PTS, mm -hmm. uh, which should be a little bit more reasonable. Mm -hmm. So it should still work with Meticulous, but therefore you're going yeah, to build up to 50% damage increase. Yeah, that's the And intent. then you, will, you would keep it, especially mm. if you use Meticulous, you could yeah. keep it as long as you can shoot. So yeah. I mean, I, re I really like the idea of a Hungry Hog being an awesome PvE weapon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously this, this, throughput type of this weapon. isn't going to yeah. be the kind of thing that... I mean, I'm sure someone will find a way to use it in PvP, mm -hmm. but it's not the kind of thing that is PvP-focused. No. Um, I, think, I think it's really cool. Maybe the way that Solid FPS was using it was a, a little bit much. Ah. Soloing legendary. That's not, that's not the intent. Uh, but uh, I, I, I'm excited to see what it's like in, in yeah, week I two. And I think it's... Yeah. Yeah. Lepanto is, is saying that 10% is a bit underwhelming. Maybe. 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 But yeah. still, that's PTS. Yeah. So we, if we realize that it's not enough... The, the easiest thing for us to tweak are the numbers and the values based on when we see mm -hmm. people play with it in a reasonable way. The harder things to compensate for and react to is when the, the functionality is wrong, right? Yeah. So sure. we're, we're happy with what it does functionally, and now we can try it on another phase yeah. of the PTS yeah. and see where it lands. Exactly. Uh, and and we, we might have that situation, we've had it before in the PTS, uh, where we swing wildly between too powerful, not sure. powerful mm -hmm. enough, and sure. we kind of come back to like a nice middle as we balance. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Thanks for switching to that, Peter. Yeah. And it, that's just the way that you know yeah. it works. We, we will find that nice little mid-ground. Uh, the last one, the Seeker gear set. Uh, because I alluded to this this morning on yeah. the stream. I yeah. said the Seeker gear set in the next iteration will not be as you know the Seeker gear set right now. You can basically... So the, there's a couple of things that happen. So first first of all, the, the impression that the set gives is that it's about spamming shots to the body without, with reckless abandon. Mm. And, and while it's can be used more cleverly than that, because you can use the crit for a crit headshot, etc., that's not what we were seeing. No, and it's, yeah. Uh, and also the crits are a powerful way to proc things like the caduceus and other mm -hmm. things like that, self-preserve, whatever. So, so we're going to go a different way with it. 
Um, we're going we're gonna to have it so that after two shots to the body, you're going to get a 200% headshot multiplier for your next headshot. Yes. So you actually have to use some precision to cache that in. Yes. And, and, it's the, a, and the two different. and three piece are also changed. Yes. Yeah. So you don't get, as the two piece, you won't have the 10% body damage because that's... From, no. So we're gonna, that, there's going to be a utility stat there. We're going to okay. try with some of the new stat resist all for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the three piece? And the three piece is where the body shot damage... Mm -hmm. uh, ends up. At 5% though? At 5%. We're going to try 5%. We're going to try 5%. Yeah. With that. I mean, my or first... The math works out to somewhere around that if you look at other um, damage increases. On yeah, I mean, people are already in chat points. saying that's way better. Um, some people are a, a little bit mad, probably yeah. a lot of Valkyrie. I think, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna play really nicely with marksman rifles. Yeah. It's going to also play really nicely with assault rifles that rise, because you're gonna mm -hmm. you shoot to the body, and eventually you'll hit the head. It doesn't drop that buff until you hit the head, so you can just. Yeah, is this yeah. something that we're gonna see maybe very very skilled players using with burst fire weapons? Burst fire weapons would be made for it. If you put it center mass and then let it climb up to the head, you're gonna you're gonna do pop right. pop pop body that body could be head. Cool. I, at least for me, uh, and we'll get to why, the MDR is going to be very exciting about MDR that. MDR is going to be uh, good with it. I, th I think with the fast-firing marksman rifles, especially the SVD, this is going to be really good. Yeah. But there's also edge cases where the M44 is going to be really, really good because you have the additional 200% headshot damage. And this is my question to you that, I mean, I yeah, think... We're going to have to watch out for that. It's people not will have that times 200%, it's, it's 200 Added. extra. Yeah, it's a... Uh, um, so we're, we're going to have to dial that in. We're going to see yeah. if it creates a, a yeah. one-shot meta, but that, that depends on, mm -hmm. you know, it, does it drop the buff after X seconds or something to prevent you from stacking it up on some NPCs over here and then drop the guy over there. <laughs> yeah. There's all these kinds of things we can do to it, mm -hmm. but this is, this is the base thing that we're going to try out for now. Yes. And I'm just, sorry, I'm just reading chat. You guys forget about SMG? No, I mean we're, we're still obviously. Well, I and can't and, speak we, for and Frederick, some of the <laughs> news that we're talking about today will will certainly yeah. talk to SMG users. Uh, so maybe we should even. <laughs> uh, should we save the MDR stuff for patch noty things? <laughs> No, we, we could talk okay. about the MDR. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weapon, right? Yeah, why not? I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here anyway. So <laughs> well, the thing is, like... you're so out of practice, Yannick, that you just uh, you just sit there and look beardy, and it's fine. Okay, uh, that's good. Beard. Just the, here for the rooks. Can I say it? Yeah. The MDR is getting a 65% base damage increase. Mm. Mm. So it's, Feel good about it. So it's going to be decently close to some of the lower end marksman rifles, like mm. the SVD, uh, in terms of power. I feel very, very good about this. It's a... Uh, it's ha uh, I, yeah, no words. All yeah, right, people happy. Again, it's, uh, I think it's important to say that because, like, yeah, the 65 can sound like a lot, like it's a lot, but mm. it's, it's a completely different type of weapon compared to other, uh, to other assault rifles. So, as you said, it handles more like a marksman, marksman rifle. Yeah, so it has about the same rhythm. And yeah. everything. That's why it's justified to have a yeah. base damage increase because the RPM is completely different. Exactly. So, Sentry uses, Firecrest uses, yeah. the new Seeker uses, maybe probably, the MDR probably, but yeah, it's probably go going to be a thing. So also because we're changing resistances some mm -hmm. in this patch, um, generally res people are going to be under status effect for shorter amounts of time, yeah. which means that part of the MDR buff is to the distracted talent also gets uh, an increase. So it's going to mm. actually be a better talent on it yeah. as well. Cool. Uh, what about Historian? I was using it today. I think Historian's uh, really good. It's a, it's, a, it's a very, very interesting gun. I think tacticians might not be working quite... Well, we have some reports that, you know, if people are using a skill, it'll consume your tech buff. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah and sort tacticians of is, is fixed now. We found okay. all the problems. For the next PTS, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I was running uh, tacticians with the historian today. It's a lot yeah. of fun. It's yeah, like, it's, it's, it should be good. It's very um, cool. And the, the one thing we've done to the historian is that it had a really annoying explosion sound. And that's, yeah. that's been fixed. The sound was kind of annoying. Yeah, it was a bit we, overwhelming. <laughs> we were running three yeah. historians in our group today, and it was like... Well, everywhere. Yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, there was on. there was somebody also asking uh, <laughs> since we are talking about weapons. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's my turn to. It's alright. I'm just it. gonna. I'll just be here. Um, somebody was asking about the showstopper. Yeah, we're gonna so increase uh, the showstopper some as well. Yeah. Uh, it's been underperforming. Mm -hmm. uh, so base damage wise or talent. Base wise? damage wise. Okay. Yeah. Um, talent doesn't go m much anywhere further because it already goes to sort of pinpoint accuracy. Mm -hmm. So base da damage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And now, now I be, people be like, striker, show stuff a new meta. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. All right. <laughs> no, it was a MDR meta. They said in here. Mm. Mm. It'll change. Just wait. Just MDR wait. is quite a skillful weapon to use right <laughs> yeah, now, so yeah. I, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. 
There you go. Uh, so one of the big, you, you can do it if you want. Yeah, you talk. You move on. I'm. <laughs> That's how it is. I've gotten now. so used to you not being here, it's just <laughs> like I don't even know what to do anymore. Ignore. <laughs> Sounds like you're mad now. I am mad. Uh, all right, so anyway. Show up to work, Yannick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, now the other big thing that you've been working on is about stats and gear stats. Right. right? So, and yeah. so this is coming with the next PTS. And we, we had. Um, we had a big uh, workshop with the ETF members yeah. where we talked about we talked about armor and health and uh, what stats you pick as majors and things like that. And the, the change that we made to the armor bonus, turning it into health, is just the first step of the results of that workshop and what we do. So what we're going to do now is, first of all, we're going we're gonna, to um, hand out free base health to everyone. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think it's tier five. It's somewhere around the 80,000 health region that's going to be just okay. given to you for free for just existing. So people don't have that in one in, in no. PTS one. No. Uh, okay. So okay. right now everything comes from your stamina on your gear. You're still going to have the stamina on your gear. Okay. Um, but that allows us to take some of that health that we added for free, take that away from the major bonuses and the and, and the stamina, so that those bonuses aren't so valuable that you can't pick anything else for them. Yeah, yeah. So that should allow us to keep people at high um, survivability or the survivability that we were targeting while allowing them to pick some other uh, stats. Yeah. So um, to that effect, we've also gone through and house cleaned a little bit in the, uh, in the stats of gear. Okay. So we yeah. made sure that there's some lesser use stats we've thrown away mm -hmm. on new gear. Um, some stats that we felt weren't readily available, such as crit chance for all the SMG builders, mm -hmm. are now mm -hmm. available on more pieces of okay. gear. Um, holsters can now roll, instead of pistol damage, they can actually roll a very sizable chunk of reload speed. That's cool. And you can even find a pretty large amount of stability uh, on one of the pieces if, uh, if, you're, having, if you're struggling in that area. Okay. So, Overall, the goal is to try to make a meta where you are a little bit more free to pick mm. what your build is, and that there's something for every type of build on every piece, so that there's something for firearms shooter people, there's something for skill users, there's something for tanky users on every piece that rolls uh, as a major bonus. One of the ones that uh, I found interesting in that discussion in the workshop was the whole damage to elites thing. Right, uh, so damage to elites, especially in moving into the era of legendary mode, is, is a more niche stat mm -hmm. than armor damage. Because both veterans yeah. and elites have armor, yeah. and so do players, whereas damage to elites is, is a niche stat. So mm -hmm. we're swapping those around, and where you would have found uh, damage to elites, there's now enemy armor damage as a major, mm -hmm. whereas damage to elites becomes a minor, because that's their relationship. One is a major stat yeah. that applies to many things, one is a niche stat that applies to fewer things. Uh, so uh, Bruno Silva in chat is saying more RNG. It's, it, it's going to be it's less, in, less. A, in, a, in a lot of ways because if a, if a piece rolls, hopefully, or that piece is useful for something. Mm. Bad, or for most players, bad majors like um, protection from elites mm -hmm. mm -hmm. won't drop. So you're going to find you know, health or haste or some other mm -hmm. stat that's useful for a build on yeah. any item. That's the goal, anyway. Very, very cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, one other thing that I think is important and that has been, uh, there's been a lot of discussion around it since we released the PTS and uh, it's very much linked to PVP, which is hip fire. Yeah. So where are we at with hip fire? So we did a, we did a first little thing on the first PTS where we did a different camera for it to sort mm -hmm. of take away that overview that you have when you're stuck yeah. in your, mm -hmm. or when you retain your normal camera. Um, there's a couple of ways we could go with hipfire. Obviously, hipfire should function in the game. It's a, yeah. it's a part of the game, but it should be a panic reaction that's not yeah. very effective. Um, for the next PTS, we're going to go with adjusting uh, spread and recoil quite aggressively when you're hipfiring. Um, if that turns out to not feel good or not be right, then we can try other things later. Cool. But the, um, 
that's that's what's going to happen in yeah, the next it's going to be interesting to see and we this is one of the things that we definitely want to have as an ongoing discussion because and it's already yeah. a discussion to be fair yeah. lots of people are talking about how hip fire works i've seen it referred to as the chicken dance pvp <laughs> uh right now right and it doesn't and, and, and it's true mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah and that's what we're aggressively targeting with yeah. a lot of these changes it's yeah. kind of it's kind of a, a little bit around the other way you are punished for not hip firing mm. basically well i mean that's a bit hyperbolic but you know, anyone who's seen uh, PvP in the Dark Zone, there's a lot of hip fire right yeah, now. Yeah, there is. Um, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how that shifts yeah. once, uh, you know, weapons are kind of flying up a bit and that sort of thing. One of the things that I think we might be trying sometime during this PTS process is, is to see what the effect of a slightly more damage, a slightly higher PvP modifier would do. We, we mm -hmm. could try that at some point because maybe the problem is that you even get up to each other and uh, can't fight each other from across the street and never have a chance to kill someone at mm -hmm. a little ro longer range. Yeah. But uh, that's, that's not in the, that's something we can tweak uh, live on the server. So mm -hmm. we'll see if we do that. Yeah, this is what yeah. I mean. There's already a, a lot of different points in the chat, like, you know, turn off the reticle for hip fire. Yeah. What does this mean for the Tommy gun? All those sorts of things. Maybe sure. the Tommy gun should have a reticle and the other guns shouldn't. But, you know, these are, uh, this is conversation. Yeah. This is why uh, we, we do yeah. these streams. This is why we have all the places that you can discuss these and things. we've had good, we have had, a lot of good conversation with people that have been playing the PTS or that are just part of the PTS generated conversations mm -hmm. come with a lot of good suggestions for this stuff. We could have it not yeah. crit, not have headshot bonus, whatever. It, we'll see where we land with it. But mm -hmm. the, there's also why do people get so close so mm -hmm. that they want to hip fire? There's, yeah. a, there's a larger yeah. thing to address there. Somebody, is, somebody was saying, uh, like, Jesus, do not increase hip fire damage. The idea was not hip fire damage. The idea was to increase PvP damage. PvP overall. damage so that you can kill someone before they get so close that you're in a hip fire yeah. circle dance. That's what you were talking about earlier, which, like, trying to... Um, to maybe make it more interesting or uh, to attempt mm. to actually shoot at another player that is actually far away instead of now yeah. just trying to run to him and then mm -hmm. uh, engage in a short con shot. Uh, mm. So if someone brings combat. up responsive as a talent, maybe that's, that's part of the whole package discussion as well. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's, that's one of those ones. Uh, so anyway, moving on, there yep. will be a next phase of the PTS. Yes. Where are we at with that? So we have a phase two that is coming, or PTS two, or PTS week two, even though we don't want to think of PTS as weeks. So yeah, we have a PTS two that is in development. The build is uh, almost ready. It's uh, going through the final testing. So hopefully we can have it uh, uh, released as soon as possible. We'll have patch notes that are going to be published that are listing a lot of, uh, I mean, all the things that we've been talking about. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be containing more things than just what we've talked about. One of the big things that obviously we announced <laughs> like last week in uh, your great state of the game thank uh, you where you had so many viewers because i was not in yeah you um, should just leave now see what happens <laughs> well you the last ten, the last 10 game mode uh, yes so this is something that we definitely want to try on a pts uh, obviously so this is going to be made available with the next pts and coming with the last 10 game mode is also something that we really really want to try and really need to test on a pts it's going to be normalization Yay! So the Sorry. idea of normalization is, and I've seen some people asking uh, in the chat about it, the idea is to, or maybe you want to talk about it. You go. You're I on go. a roll. I to go. be fair, it is a, it is a redstone thing, so we might provide a... Yeah. We might I don't want to misrepresent. We might, <laughs> yeah. It's we might get something wrong, so, but we'll try our best. So redstone folks, I hope, Sorry, I hope we'll do this right. They might be watching. But no, the idea with normalization is just to, how do we... Uh, kind of try to limit the impact of min-maxing your gear and all of that in, uh, in the PvP of last stand. So the idea with normalization is first, it's something that only applies to last stand. It does not apply to the dark zone. And when you go in last stand, we are basically going to work some magic with the stats that you have on your character based on your gear and all yep. of that to make sure to limit the impact of randomness on your gear, basically. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? I actually have the list here Great. of the normalization. What's, what does that mean? And keep in mind before I list all of that, because I'm pretty sure some people will have opinions about it. Keep in mind this is basically version one that we're going to put on the yes. PTS. Uh, Just a test. But the version one, it may work, it may not. We will see based on your feedback. So keep that in mind. But the idea is, so what happens when I jump in a last stand match and I get normalized? So all your gear, First is going to be increased. Why are you laughing? Oh, people Just are saying some comments. Yes. People are saying fun stuff. 
Um, all your... <laughs> Stop distracting Yannick, he has an important job. I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost. God. I'm not used to this anymore. All right. So all your gear first is going to be uh, maxed to gear score 256. So that's it. You can go there with gear 163, it's going to become a, 260, a 256. Mm -hmm. That's the first part. This is just on parry, okay? Keep that in mind when you leave last stand when you're back with your normal gear. Yeah. Uh, so 256 for the gear pieces, basically all the main attributes, firearms, stamina, uh, and electronics are going to be maxed out to the maximum roll possible, which is, I can't remember, 1275 or something like that. Or Mm, what? Anyway, uh, so they're going to have the max, the maximum value that they can have uh, based on the fact that they are 256 now. Then... Oh, on that, yeah. No, yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Keep going. Did I lose you? No, 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 I'm good. Keep going. Okay. 1272. There stay, you go. stay with me because there's, there's a bunch of things. You have the theory so crafters in the chat. Yeah. 1272. I was not far. I was not far. I said 1275. Um, yeah. Then uh, the next thing that happens is, again on gear pieces, some of the bonuses are actually going to be uniformly uh, scaled. So this is the weapon type damage. So it's all the pistol damage, SMG damage, and all that. The skill power and the health. These are going to be uniformly scaled, which means that they're all going to be brought to the same value, to a uniform value. Great. Then all the other bonuses, though, uh, these remain the same. They are not changed. Okay. So they will have different values depending on the player and depending on your gear. That's for the gear pieces. Then for the weapons, so the same, they're uh, brought to gear score 256. Um, the talents are going to unlock based on the, uh, the attributes that have been normalized on your gear. So your max roll stuff. So the max yep. roll stuff. Uh, so normally it should be easier for you to unlock talents, but that depends what kind of stats you specialized in. Uh, then the mods will act as normal, and all the other stats are also unchanged. So the RPM, the reload speed, and all these kind of things uh, will be unchanged. Uh, the armor mitigation uh, value is going to be set at the same value for everyone. So everybody has cool. the same armor mitigation, so yeah. there is no mean maxing yeah. your armor. Ma max rolled armor. Yeah, max yeah. rolled armor, basically. Uh, and, yeah, and then all the things that player talent, the gear set bonuses, weapon set mm -hmm. uh, bonuses, all these kind of things, they apply normally. Yeah, the ones that create the personality and rotation of your yeah. build. Yeah. So the end result is that you should keep the identity of the build that you have equipped on your character that you have developed on your character, but therefore uh, the, yeah, the importance of the roles, the min-max roles that you have on your build are, is kind of limited and reduced yeah, because I, you are I, maxing everything. Exactly. I think it's really great for uh, people that maybe play you know, a few hours a week and that sort of thing, and they can jump in and they could have the right you know, stats on their mm -hmm. gear, but maybe not max roles on everything, and they're not mm -hmm. punished for that. They can, they can roll in and... and uh, yeah. And have a, a great thing. Yeah. People, this guy, Eric, keeps saying I look like a 12-year-old. I mean, it's true, but... That's because you don't have a beard. It's the beard I know, comparison. Man. Yeah, that's what's doing it. One day, but I mean, and I'll this hit puberty, yeah. and the beard's just going to... But the normalization is for last stand game mode. It's yes. not something that's going to be active yeah. when you're PvPing in the dark zone. That, yeah. it's, that's yeah. a stats free-for-all, as it was always... And again, this is, this is version one. I see some different kind of reactions. Some people say it's mm -hmm. good. Other people mm -hmm. say it's, uh, they, use, they use mean words. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> they use, no, chat never and uses People are asking words. by Banshee, by the chat way. We should have that. Gonna, we'll get to yeah, Banshee yeah, in a second. Yeah, yeah, don't worry we'll about get that. To it. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's, again, that's version one. We'll see if it works. We may also try a round of last 10 without normalization on the PTS to compare both and see which one works best. Yep. So definitely open for feedback on that one. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Crystal. How did, how did I do? You did great. So did you good. see that Denti got uh, timed out on the chat? <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. <laughs> Get out of we here. We love you, Denti. That's because you shaved your beard. Yeah, there you go. You get That's banned. That's what you get. What you gonna do? What's next, man? Uh, okay, so the, yeah, the other <laughs> changes that are coming with PTS2, so we talked about a lot of things before. So we talked about Valkyria, Seeker, all of that. The Urban MDR we talked about. Mm -hmm. Also, yes, yeah, skill power, uh, a few changes to skill power. Do you want to fill in for Mathieu? I'm, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't <laughs> want to fill in for, so. for Mathieu, but the, the main thing is that we, the changes to skill power in the PTS were vast, mm -hmm. and we knew we were going to have to make adjustments, so adjustments are coming, uh, specifically to make sure that haste and skill power can be picked for various yeah. different reasons. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, 
It's not a complete change compared to what we did in no, ETS no. 1. It's just it's more of an adjustment yeah. and a tweak. Um, the end result, also we said by, <laughs> by Mathieu who worked on it, is that first, yeah, the idea is to make sure that skill haste is valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the impact of skill power on cooldowns is going to be limited. What that means is that uh, when you have low skill power, you will actually have higher cooldowns than you have right now because you will be less reliant on your skill power. Yeah. And when you have high skill power, if you only use your skill power, your cooldowns are going to be a bit longer compared to what you have now, uh, which should be good news for the solo players. And we know that we have a lot of yeah. solo PvE players. And we hear you guys. We totally mm. hear you uh, that, yes, a lot of changes we've done may have, have an impact on your experience. So that's something we are monitoring. Mm. Uh, this change is something that should come as good news yeah. because basically if you're not specialized in skill power, which usually you would be less likely to be as yeah. a solo player because you're trying to be more balanced. Yep. Uh, you, your heal cooldown, your first yep. aid cooldown should be a bit shorter. The, the goal is that uh, if you are balanced in your stats, then, then you should be fine. You should be able to heal yeah. yourself, etc. So, um, yeah, th that's what we're aiming for. Um, we talked about the India. That's cool. Yes. Uh, legendary difficulty. I tried it today. Um, you had an maybe, easy time of it. Maybe I'm a masochist. It was. Uh, I maybe mean, we didn't we didn't complete it, but we weren't. The thing is, it needs, I, I I want something really really difficult. Come on. I think a lot of people happen? think it's really really difficult. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it like, can be kind of polarizing. It is going to be polarizing. There yeah. were some things in this week's PTS that made it easier. So mm -hmm. we've made some adjustments to you know the heal station that's being used by the reclaimer set. Yes. Um, well, let, let's let's stay on that before we forget. Yeah. So reclaimer right now is. Very, very powerful, and and it's cool that because we have because the heal station is powerful. Yes, it's yeah. cool that we have a, a support build that is mm. looking like it's really going to work in, in, in one point mm -hmm. six. But it did feel at times, especially during my run through yeah. today, that you you're down and up all the yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, so what what are we changing with the support station? I mean, so obviously not, the skill yeah. power changes themselves. The adjustments that Monsieur have made will affect you know how effective it is yeah. and stuff like that. And we've made some adjustments to the heal speed of it, to the range of it and uh, to the revive timer yes. because mm. one, one of the cheesier aspects of it this week, if you permit me that word, is that people were chain reviving through things that should have wiped them Yeah. Um, because the revive timer is so What's short like on two it. two seconds? Yeah, so, so that's, that's going to be longer. Um, but in general, we knew that there was going to be a pretty large shift to support meta with mm -hmm. bigger health pools that heals can work on yeah. and better skill power that power the heals. So um, we're, we are still adjusting and trying to hone that in. Yeah. yeah. There you go. But there's, there's something else also to legendary. I mean, it's not <laughs> just legendary. Yeah. It's not just legendary. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's, uh, it's people everywhere. are not wrong. On, yeah. on this point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, because you said uh, Legendary was a bit too easy, but there was something that made it harder and that made the whole game harder. And uh, you guys spotted it a while ago. And we finally, we finally can tell you, you were right. There was indeed something wrong with NPC aiming. And you were right most of the time, some of the time. Yeah. Because it's not a global thing, right? So uh, this is my understanding of it. The NPC accuracy was there, there were cases. There were cases where it yeah. was 100% accuracy during yeah. certain animations, yeah. right? Yeah, and they, so would, they would hit every shot. Yeah. Uh, so that's and that I wasn't in every case, so it was yeah. hard to, f to figure out. But Drew and his crew uh, found it eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I see <laughs> people and are... So that's, uh, we talk about that in the context of Legendary, because this is something that a lot of people have been complaining with the difficulty of Legendary, mm -hmm. was that not the damage that the NPCs deal, but their, their actual accuracy, that as soon as you pop your head out, they're just yeah. going to you know, one-shot you. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's something that has been fixed, and mm -hmm. there are some changes and tweaks that have been done there. So with Legendary, it's like there's a mix of changes that could make it harder and other changes that are going to make it easier. So it's, it's just going to yeah. feel a bit different mm -hmm. the way we approach it. But the thing that's important with Legendary, I think, is to keep in mind that it's, it's not really meant for everyone or it's not meant to be complicated, completed by, uh, mm -hmm. by everyone. It's really meant to be for the players mm -hmm. that are min-max, that are optimized and all that. It's yeah. a way to test yeah. your builds and to push yourself yeah. and to give yeah. yourself a challenge. I, th I think uh, I understand why some people might um, find that a bit confronting. It's something, if you remember back to some of the streams we did around 1.4, uh, to be fair, we, we had Drew on and we were like, we've got those new world tiers and these sorts of things. Yeah. And we admitted that, you know, there's not really an in-game challenge yeah. for our most yeah. hardcore this is, players. Yeah. This is what I think this is. Yeah. 
But so uh, this is, uh, yeah, so far at least this is the idea with Legendary, which is that we want to keep uh, tweaking it and improving mm -hmm. it based on your feedback. But keep in mind that we want it to be challenging. We want it to be hard. Yeah. So but because of this, yeah. we don't want to lock any gear or no. gear behind it. No. Right? So this should be a way to say, hey, look, I'm awesome. There's a nice I have hat, this vanity I stuff. Think. Right? Which I think I, yeah, I think's awesome. I, I want to be able to say and show that like mm -hmm. I did it. I did it. Uh, one of the anyway, questions yeah. I'm seeing a lot is, uh, it's one of the ones we haven't talked about, did I? Is that one of the ones that we um, yeah, so might look at? We might do, I want to do the thing that most people are looking at, which mm -hmm. is to think about when it's active, when mm -hmm. it's shoulder, when it's zoomed, etc. Uh, that might be something we get to uh, during this PTS process. Um, I've had to prioritize other things before this, yeah, no, but I mean, we're aware yeah. that, it's, uh, that, that it's clunky to use right yeah. now. So we'll see if we get to it. Yeah. 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 Uh, there are two things we haven't talked about. Banshee. People yes, are Banshee. Okay. Banshee. Let's get to Banshee. Yeah, Banshee. Just, yeah, yeah, just so, um, so a lot of people when we ask for feedback on Banshee, mm -hmm. um, because obviously for those that aren't keeping up uh, or haven't read the, the Dark Zone now, does not punish non-rogue players with the loss of XP or, or currency globally. That's just sure. the change to the rules of the Dark Zone. They will still drop items. That's sort of the key to Dark have mechanics, yeah. rogues to yeah. steal items and stuff like that. But they, they won't dro drop those things. And that was the bonus of the non-rogue part of the Banshee set. So instead, we figured we'd try to go with the um, sort of rogue hunter angle. Uh, and so the additional bonus, except for the global 10% bonus to rogues, is that if a rogue kills you, you're going to get another boost to damage against rogues for okay. 10 minutes after you revive. So to get that revenge. To I get like that, that revenge. So you, you have a, a while to go and uh, yeah. crack some heads. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is that something that people will experience in the next iteration of yeah. PTS? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and people, and of course, the, that's been part of the discussion. People are asking about the ninja backpack in the same time. So that's, that seems to be a confusion because when we said that mm. the change we're doing in the Dark Zone is that when you're a non-rogue and you get killed, yeah, yeah. you will not lose Dark, dark Zone fawn and Dark Zone XP, mm -hmm. but you will still lose items. You still drop yeah. items you because that's the what the items. gameplay is about mm -hmm. when it comes to extractions yeah. and stealing yeah. loot and stuff so like that. So the Ninja yeah. Backpack is still applicable because the Ninja Backpack actually yeah. protects your items. Yeah. So we don't need well, to change that one. Basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, if you're part of the the DZPD, maybe be running around with, uh, you know, lots of Banshee. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, why, cool. we'll why no real answer about double XP weekend? Uh, no, that's something we want to do, definitely. It's not that uh, there is no real answer. It's something we want to do. We just don't have a date yet. On yeah, I, mean, when I we're mentioned that again. It. It's, it's one of those things that um, there just hasn't really been a good time for, especially with the, some of the gear score yeah, increases and the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But it's, it's going to happen. There's no gear score increase coming up. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, let's say it's likely. It's likely to happen. We didn't make it for nothing, ish. right? Yeah. Uh, and also, there was another thing I just wanted to mention because I've seen somebody has been quoting something apparently I said. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> about the body shot, uh, the body shot damage. So yes. this is something to keep in mind. Again, this is a PTS. This is a thing we're trying on the PTS. We want to try it with last stand, so we will keep it for the next uh, PTS with last stand to see how that goes. But this is something that is totally up in the air if we will keep it or not, if we will tweak it, how yeah. it's going to work. So it's, it's sort of part of that dream of making sure that you dare to engage and shoot people at longer distances where you might not be sure to get a headshot and make sure that you're deadly at longer yeah. distances. That's, that's sort of the basis of why we want to try it. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to, the notion seems fairly unpopular yeah. right now, let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the, we want to definitely, yeah, and we, but we definitely want to go through uh, playing Last Stand with it on before we uh, give up on the notion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we will try it, and then based on this next uh, test, we will see if we keep it or not, and mm -hmm. how, how we implement it. Yep. Yep. Uh, so someone asked also about survival changes. We talked about those last week, and you can there's there's a, a little bit of a chat about that in the past broadcast, and this. Probably the thing that you're asking about is done. Mm. Anyway, uh, anything else before we head off? I think we. What's the time? It's too small. I can't. I can't read it. It's 5:40. Mm. It's 5:40. Yeah. 
Wow, it was a really, really we quick went, we 40 minutes. Time. Stash size. Yeah. No, we are not increasing stash size <laughs> right now. We can't now. do that for every state of the game. No. I know that we broke yeah. some sort of <laughs> no. chat scroll speed record when, when that happened. But yeah, there was a mic drop there. Yes. Uh, stash size. Uh, someone was asking, any love for snipers? I think the new Seeker, the new Seeker. set is going to be very, very, yes. very interesting for snipers. And yes. again, there may be some things that need to be changed with it. Certain, uh, you know, how long does the third shot buff mm -hmm. stick around, all that sort of thing. And then there's values that may need switching, you know, PTS, right? Yeah. And uh, for people that are talking about submachine guns, I think yeah. the, the availability of more, um, of more uh, critical strike chance on all pieces of gear, or like all pieces mm -hmm. of the one piece of gear where that starts to appear, mm -hmm. means that you're going to get higher crit. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't think people have really explored how good SMGs get with how good pulse is right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, and also, it's kind of hard to get a good read on where SMGs sit in reality. <laughs> With the Valkyries given the running Valkyries around. Like, um, yeah. uh, Liz brought up something uh, very quickly. Um, Banshee in Last Stand. How, how do we classify our enemies? Are they technically rogue? Are they not? No. Uh, so Banshee is, is essentially not going to be very good in Last Stand because they're not going to be rogue. Because and by we... essentially, you mean useless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know I mean? just, yeah. 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 No, so I, would, I wouldn't play last time with, uh, with Banshee. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't play last time with Banshee. I don't think anyone's going to be running. Unless you have like super min max and amazing stats. Yeah. But you are foregoing that talent because they're not rogue. There you go. Uh, and story wise, they are. Yeah, it's a little yes, bit confusing. Yeah, we'll have to actually explicitly state it on a gear set. From the, from the law. They're not really you're, rogue, you're, they're yeah. kind of just enemy. No, they're rogue. Are they mm. rogue? From, l from the law, they're rogue when you're playing last stand. Mm. So yes. Damn it, Yannick, fix it. But fix it. from game mechanics, yeah. they are not. Fix it, Yannick. Uh, All right. Midas. There is a Midas. Uh, uh, we're, we're still working on it. I'm not actually sure what's going to get in for the next okay. PTS, but uh, it's being worked on. Uh, we're probably switching out from the heal uh, debuff that it's currently giving mm -hmm. to something else. Yeah. Okay. I mean, right now it's it doesn't. It seems like a situational thing that could yeah. be kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. But and uh, whatever but we do, it's going to apply more uh, debuff to your enemy than to yourself. It's okay. So it'll be one to one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Apparently, right. we refuse to comment on loadouts. So yes, we can say loadouts yeah. is cool. That's something we want to do. That's just not something that we can do for 1.6. But that still is a cool idea, and that's something we want to add to the game at some point. So yeah. that'd be cool. I've talked about not it a right lot. now but eventually, hopefully. Anyone who's used Outfitter or something like that before will know how awesome yeah. it is. I yep. agree. We'll see. You know. We agree. Loadouts are awesome. <laughs> yes. We're on the same page. All right. Uh, I'm going to be, so uh, yeah, again, people will probably be wondering, when's PTS2 coming? Mm. To be fair, we would tell you if we knew. Yeah. Um, we'll and it's but, being tested. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's we'll let you know as soon as, uh, yeah, as, uh, soon as we know. Things always move really, really quickly yeah. with, um, with PTS type things, so that news could come very soon, or it could be, we don't know, really. Yeah, um, so yeah. we're, we're uh, basically going up to Adrian and being like, hang on, when, when, when's it coming, when's it coming? When it? Um, but, so make sure that you follow us on Twitter, that's kind of, um, we will get that news out, and also, I'm streaming in the morning, so hope maybe we'll have some news then, I don't know, maybe not. Come back and, uh, and find out, and then find out. Matt's probably streaming tomorrow night, and yeah, we don't know. Anyway, make sure you pay attention. Yes. Because there will be news, and uh, you don't want to miss it, because there will be patch notes at the same time, yes. mm -hmm. which will have a lot of information, because there's a lot of changes. Oh, Anything yes. else? No, I think you nailed Nothing. it. I nailed it. Awesome. Cool. All right. Whoa. I know, this is weird. Now I don't know what to do. What do we usually do at this time? Awkward Hamish. Sign off. Usually I wave. I don't. Okay. We're going to go.